Welcome to the breakdown featuring Nostalgia, a B-roll love by Nako. Depending on who you ask, love and loyalty goes hand in hand. But which would you rather have? Kenya Yvette Schumer is an imperial woman, born with a diamond-encrusted spoon in her mouth, yet probably the most entertaining person you could ever come into contact with. She's a rare gem. Elijah Sadir, a man from across the tracks, finds himself quite smitten with Miss Shumir. At a drastic turn of events, they were left with no other choice but to leave everything that they once knew behind to embark on a journey of life together. During their time, trials and tribulations occur, putting into question which holds more value between the two, love or loyalty. Nako pens a gritty, honest, and riveting tale of two people who found themselves in a web of lust, love, and lies. Now, if you're familiar with Nako's catalog, you know that many of her books are intertwined, but she wanted her readers to know that this book is a standalone novel. So let's get into it. Kenya Yvette Shamir is what one would consider a complicated mess. She comes from a well-to-do family that insists on controlling her every move. In her attempt to take back her life, she makes major decisions that ultimately affect her future in private. This includes her immediate family and her passion for writing. When things really begin to spiral downward, someone recommends therapy. And this is when it starts to get interesting. In order for the doctor to get a better understanding of her life, Kenya gives her a journal slash manuscript which documents her story and how she can't get over him. What happens after this is nothing short of crazy. I just want to go on record as saying that Nako had me sliding down the wall from go which means page one. Never did I imagine that this emotional roller coaster would leave me feeling exhausted. There were so many secrets and lies that came out in this book, and I highly recommend that you check it out for yourself. But be warned, have wine, tissue, or whatever you need as a coping mechanism. The theme of sisterhood was also a winner for me, I wish that I could give it more than five diamonds. Go get this book.